So introducing you here today is the Honourable John Rao, MP and the Attorney General. Welcome. Thank you. Um, now let's talk about bait uh, pricing, mm. okay? That's still going on by the it's, way. The problem now is that it's the people doing it are protected, uh, and, uh, you've got lambs to the slaughter because there's a the perception now that there is no bait advertising and so therefore you've got the guards now down whereas before everyone was really aware mm. that this goes on now they go well it's now it's illegal i still get letters anthony from people and it's because so I'm, hard to so, prove. I'm sort of the unofficial ombudsman you know even though I I'm that. doing other things i still get i still get letters from people where they have a cutout from the advertiser or whatever of a an advert for a property and then next to that there's a story explaining what happened when they tried to investigate the property at that price and you and I both know there are certain people, some of them quite prominent, who are pretty well in that groove most of the time. Yeah. And uh, I think it's going to take a prosecution, or maybe a number. As long as they get the right one. Yeah, sure, sure. And this like, is the thing, this yeah. is the thing. But it, you know, the other issue is that um, uh, I'm wondering now whether in the next three or four years we, we shouldn't be talking about better ways of policing the legislation. I, I don't think the principles there are, are bad or flawed in any fundamental way. It's more way. how the mechanics of it. The mechanics of it, but also finding ways of uh, triggering uh, some of the disciplinary issues that are in there. So, for instance, it's all very well to say conflicts of interest are a problem and if you have a conflict of interest certain things will flow. But if nobody's out there detecting it, or if they are detecting it, nobody's reporting it. Or if they are reporting it, nobody's prosecuting it. Mm. Then it becomes a bit of a toothless tiger. So well, I wouldn't mind having a chat with you over the next year or so to see whether there's anywhere where some of that yeah. could be brightened up. There probably could be a bit of a workshop on it because um, what's happened, there's quite sophisticated ways around the price baiting mm. that's been going on. Um, and so when they do the investigations from the industry inside story kind of stuff, yeah. um, pretty much the guys have the guys that are doing it have pretty much got it down pat. Mm. So they've had the kind of reviews and all everything's been in order, but everyone still knows it's happening. Yeah. You know, um, and you, you know that that is happening because even at the big conferences where we were learning the new act, you go out for morning tea and you've got huddles of people working on how to get around it. And I'm going, what don't you get here? Mm. You don't actually have to get around it. If everyone does this, it will just work. It will, yeah. And, and the problem for anyone in any industry where you get these breakout little groups trying to work, do workarounds, I don't know why they put so much energy into that. Because it, it well, won't I think it's, it's human nature. Somebody's always trying to get an advantage. But it, it would actually be useful for the Real Estate Institute as, a, as an organisation to identify these as being problems and actually um, come forward to government in an official capacity and say, look, we think the legislation should work. We agree with the, the principles. There are some practical issues here and we want you to talk with us about how we can fix them. I mean, that would be a very constructive way of yep. moving this along. Yeah, 